was talking to Joel about like tone because the first film is obviously it's an action it's an action thriller but it's also very funny and sort of dark. What are you doing tonally with this RoboCop remake? I'm not trying to make a movie that has the same tone as the first one. Uh, it would be silly to do it. I mean, the tone of the first one has to do with what the first one wants to say. And it's uh, an ironic, on-your-face critic of fascism and corporate fascism, uh, hence the violin and all the ads, um, corporate ads. And I think it's brilliantly done. Uh, our movie is not about that. I mean, that movie is already made, and, it, and it's uh, unfortunately it's still current. I can watch this movie and think it's a critic of today's corporate uh, world, but our movie is, we try to latch onto things implicit in the concept of RoboCop, of the original RoboCop, and bring them to the present and deal with issues that are pressing for us now that are different than the original issues. So, give you an example where Verhoeven had corporate ads, we have media. So our media in our movie is kind of like the media in America right before the invasion of Iraq, where everybody had to believe in weapons of mass destruction and nobody could criticize it because then it would be unpatriotic, right? That's the kind of media we portray. So, uh, so we have that, which is current. You know the channels I'm talking about, I don't have to say it. There you go. Uh, my dad watches too. Uh, so in any case, we ha so that is also done in a, in a, a ironic way in our movie. So it keeps the tone of the first one. That's the Samuel Jackson character. He plays this media mogul that has this kind of perspective on life. Now, uh, our movie is about, it, it has a drama element to it because our Alex Murphy wakes up as Alex Murphy. So you have a man realizing he's become a robot. And that's pretty dramatic because, you know, you lose some essential body parts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cool. So, you you know, your girlfriend is going to miss you. <laughs> that was a body part. Well, you do, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, there's a little bit of irony in that. But it's true. I mean, yeah. how do you deal with that? Yeah. And uh, how, what does it feel like being a robot? People look at you and you're a weirdo, yeah. right? Uh, and you have to deal with your son and your wife, and so our character goes through a whole existential question. Who am I? Why have I become? Uh, which is a big part of our movie. In our movie, Robocop doesn't lose his humanity at once. He, he loses through a process. Uh, and so that changes it radically. Uh, and it creates a dramatic, uh, dramatic feel that's maybe bigger than the one you have, in, like classical drama thing going on. So we have irony and classical drama and action in it. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure.